I'm looking at a passage in Luke chapter 8. The events in this chapter had followed an amazing week. Prior to this, Jesus had brought a widow's dead son back to life. Uh, He had been anointed by a woman that didn't have the best of reputations. He had calmed a storm at sea. He'd freed a man that had been enchained by demons for life. And then this happened. They'd returned to the area where the demon-possessed man had lived, and, and the crowd that greeted them was just huge. And almost right away, the people began clamoring for Jesus' attention. Uh, one particular man was interesting, though, because he was a leader in a local synagogue. His name, it was Jairus. Seems he had a daughter who was near death, and, and so he came to Jesus, falling at his feet, begging him to heal his daughter. And I'm sure the disciples thought that this was a huge opportunity. Jairus was a big deal in town, and it would be quite a coup for this small band of Christ followers if they could get someone of such importance to join them. But before they could barely move because the crowd was so large, Jesus turned and he asked them, Who touched me? Now, can you imagine Peter's response? What? What do you mean? Who touched you? There are people all around. And there were, there were, there were hundreds of people pressing in around him, maybe even thousands. How could the disciples know just one person that Jesus was talking about touching him? But, but Jesus insisted. He said, I know someone touched me because power has gone out for me. Well, as they looked around trying to find the guilty party, there was a woman that stepped forward through the crowd and, and she confessed telling Jesus why she had reached out to touch him. But more than that, she said that immediately after she'd done so, she was healed. Healed from something that had troubled her for over 12 years. And as only Jesus can do, he he looked on her with compassion and he said these simple words. Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. And if that wasn't exciting enough, it got more interesting While Jesus is still talking to this woman, someone approaches him from the home of Jairus and actually looked at Jairus himself and said, don't bother the teacher anymore. We're sorry your little girl is dead. Well, I hope that you know by now that that wouldn't stop Jesus. Jesus turned to Jairus and he said, don't be afraid, just believe and your daughter will be healed. And sure enough, they went to the home of Jairus Jesus took that little girl by the hand and said, my child, get up. And she did. Dead one moment, alive the next. But then, and and I can hardly believe that I'm saying this because it still baffles me at times. After this event, Jesus told the parents not to tell anyone what had happened. I don't know about you, but I would have wanted to shout it from the housetops, and I'm sure the parents did as well. So this coming Sunday, we're going to be exploring this story in a little more depth as we conclude our series that we're calling Made for Mission. But we're going to focus not on what happened to the woman or to the little girl, but on who Jesus took with him on this adventure and why he did so. And we're going to do that to emphasize the importance of taking someone along with us as we go on mission with God, sharing and showing the love of Jesus. As I mentioned, the story is found in the eighth chapter of Luke's gospel. So you might want to read verses 40 down through the end of the chapter prior to Sunday. Then I hope that you'll join us in person or as we live stream at 10 o'clock Sunday on YouTube.